For this video, we're going to go over how to do loft number one, uh, which is the pyramid. Now, this may seem like a complex solid object to create, but I can assure you it's actually very simple. If we think about a pyramid, the bottom sketch is going to be a simple square, a six by six in the, in the example given here. And then the example also tells us that the height is four inches. So the height from this square to this point, which is what we're going to use, is four inches. Now, to create this point, I'm going to need to create an offset sketch, offset from this work plane by four inches, hence the height of four inches. I'll go ahead and follow along, and I'm going to do that here. I'm going to start on this uh, bottom plane. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to use a different rectangle. I'm going to use a center point rectangle because it's going to make everything a little bit easier for me. Now I'm going to make these sides six by six. Okay. Now this is done. Now what I need to do is uh, exit that sketch and create an offset plane from that current sketch, which just happens to be this plane here. And it's going to be four inches up. Now I have this secondary work plan I just created. I'm going to sketch on that. And since I'm looking down on it, I have the perfect orientation to put the point right over the existing center point. And since I am, since I put it right on the center point, uh, I don't have to put any dimensions. So now I have my bottom base square and my point. If I go to the loft tool, and I select those two profiles, I get my pyramid, just like that. So very simple, straightforward, easy way to use loft to make a pyramid. 